Today I'm going to show you how I modify these cheap DC to DC buck converters for use in projects and various high voltage power supplies, basically anywhere you need controlled DC. In this case I have removed the trim pots from both of these boards and put fixed resistors in place uh, as my voltage divider and I've got two external potentiometers here. Each of these are 5k but for the modification that we're going to do in this video anything uh, between a 5k to a 10k will work just fine and as a demo I'll flip that on and this is the negative output rail and the positive output rail. So let's take a look at what needs to be done to these boards so that you get full range nice linear response using external potentiometers. This is a cheap buck module that can take about 35 volts DC input and it'll give you a variable output that drops down to 1.2 volts all the way up to about the power supply voltage minus about 1.2 volts again. So to modify this board so that we can get rid of this really annoying high precision trim pot and replace it with something that actually has a knob that you can interface with, make it more like a power supply, we'll modify this board. So first step is to remove the potentiometer that comes with the board. And now that's off, let's take a closer look at how these traces run. These two pins on the original potentiometer are jumped and this one here comes over to a divider resistor, which in this case is 330 ohms. So normally what would happen is the trim potentiometer that comes with this board would basically uh, only respond up to the power supply voltage and then you would continue to turn it, but it wouldn't do anything. So you'd get it like maybe a third of the way through if you're doing a, a five to 10 volt application and then the rest of that two thirds would do nothing. And that's because this divider resistor is going to set that range. So first thing we want to do is actually strip that off. Oh, that's right. These boards use a little bit of glue. So. And now what we can do is try to fit this potentiometer in place of that resistor that we just removed. All right, so let's take that potentiometer <coughs> and mount it in some place convenient. Just use a drop of super glue. Flip it over so the flat side is on top of the chip. There we go. All right, and then I'll use two pieces of extension wire so that we can get those leads where we need them. And that's what those pins look like connected to the pads of that setting resistor. And the last thing to do is either to connect two lead wires for a panel mounted potentiometer between the middle and the right here, or just put the potentiometer we want to use directly onto the board. Let's put the new replacement potentiometer onto the board. connect some wires so that we can test it. So in this case, on the output, I didn't connect the out negative because this entire board shares a common negative with the input. 
to tune this board in, we don't even have to know where these potentiometers are set. We'll go ahead and connect the power supply to the input. And we'll connect the multimeter negative to the same power supply negative input and the positive to that one lead. I could have just used two, but for the next application, I'll just need one. Now that the buck converter module is connected to the power supply and to the multimeter, we'll go ahead and flip on the power supply and I have it set to five volts right now. So let's say we wanted to use this in an application where we have five volts input available and we wanna vary between the minimum of this board and 3.3 volts, for example. Well, right now, before we made any adjustments, we just happen to have 3.7 volts on this board and that's because I have this added potentiometer turned all the way to the max. If I turn it down, we can go down to the chip minimum, that's the voltage reference, 1.2 volts. And if I turn it up all the way, we can go all the way up to 3.75 volts right now. So I want to set this to 3.3, and I can turn the trim potentiometer clockwise now to bring this down to exactly 3.3. And so now, if I twist this all the way counterclockwise, I can still hit that same exact minimum, but the full range goes up to 3.3. Now let's say I wanted to use this in a 12 volt application. Well, I'll go ahead and turn the input all the way up to 12 volts. And this is actually what I'll be using it for later. Well, we can see our voltage has slightly changed, but we still only have the same range. Basically our minimum up to about 3.3. We gained some millivolts because this chip isn't exactly linear. But we want this to give us our full range based on a 12 volt input. So now all we've got to do is adjust that trim potentiometer again until this voltage goes up and stops rising. All right, there it is. It stopped rising at 11.42. I can still turn this, but it doesn't do anything. So I'll turn it back. And there we go, I just want to go a slight hair over where that stops climbing. And now we can see if I turn this trim pot all the way down, same minimum, and then we can sweep nicely through the range with a convenient neural potentiometer we can actually put our fingers on and adjust. So that's about as easy as it is to convert over one of these buck modules to a nice variable power supply for whatever you want to put it in. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found the information helpful. In the next video, I'll show you how I apply one of these circuits to vary the AC output voltage from one of these plasma globe drivers.